I took these out. This could be... What is this? the decay on that side, that's why I took those out. So you have that, art, you have the percussion sort of echoing the gesture. Some kind of 12 tone stuff happening. So I wanted to create a dialogue between the orchestra, um, the melodic stuff and then the percussion stuff within the orchestra, so that's kind of the idea with that. Create a lot of space here. So kind of like an over-the-top kind of thing when Bunny Man comes out of the, opens the door here. So we're, you know, we're not being subtle here at all. So that goes with the split there. So I'm staying out of the way of the dialogue. Another glissando there. So a lot of stuff happened with the orchestra uh, as far as... In fact, I scored this out. So I wanted... Because I wanted to play with the textures and the timbre of all the different... Um, so we have the brass going to strings there. This motive keeps coming back. So there's the motif again, and actually that one I doubled with the electric guitar because I wanted to, I wanted to increase the intensity of, of that motif as it comes back. So here's the super fuzzed out electric guitar here. I think it has an octave on it too, so. A lot, of, a lot of stuff. Alright, so we have that. So this time the percussions, now we kind of switched its role here. It's kind of leading the dialogue. Whereas before it was echoing what was happening, but now it sort of took the lead and it's ushering in the melodic guitar. And now we're echoing with the other elements here. Okay, so that little ostinato there, I want to talk about that, because I actually, it's the woodwinds, and I, th with piano and xylophone, but also, so let me play those layers first. Another important layer to this, to create a sort of, give it more creepy sound was I used a synth there, the CS80, the staccato sound with, it has a delay on it. So I think everything together creates kind of a cool... So I wanted to have that space there, kind of like the goldsmith thing where it creates tension. So because you have her pretending to be dead or whatever. up for this electronic section. So that whole thing there, that that very you know we have the strings here. Yeah, I have the So kind of the, the whole orchestra playing that I wanted it to be really big leading us to the next section. So we have the um all the brass, the monster brass, 
um, from uh, Cine Samples there. Uh, <laughs> piano doubling that percussion we got everything there leading us to the next part and including also guitar I think I put there yep so so I don't know what this is so it's pretty big there That's that part. Now we go to this really interesting section where Carl, uh, the director, does this kind of um, great effect of dropping frames here, or skip, rather skipping frames. It's really cool. It creates a lot of tension there. So to match that, I just had this really eerie kind of had a modular couple of modular things happening. So before, what is this here? Hold on. Alright, yeah, it also doubled the synth there. So then this next sort of, I want to create that sort of surreal atmosphere of, yeah, just to match the weirdness of the imagery. So I have a couple layers here. I have, this is this drone in the modular that I did, modular synth here. that low drone there. So that's one layer. I also had my guitar loop here in, in granite. So we got that. Sorry, the CPU is kind of pushing the limits of my computer here. I got a lot of, uh, a lot of tracks here. And this other layer, which I think is the final layer, is this other kind of weird modular loop, uh, looping thing. Yeah, this is all from the analog modular system, which I'll show you in another video. So yeah, so this is that whole section here. Let me show you. switch there but I'm gonna get to that and in fact I should roll this back a little because this is where it starts okay I'm gonna stop there <laughs> 